guys, what's going on? It's your buddy Cobra here, and today I'm going to be covering the new Evan Hart build and my thoughts on it. Um, most importantly, the newest addition into the game, really, that everyone is up in arms about, is the new trucks. For the Americans, you get. Da -da 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 -da. I don't believe I own one yet. No, nope, I don't, but guess what? I do now. On the Americans, you get this um, uh, deuce and a half. Um, which isn't technically modeled correctly, but again, you know, it, that's neither here nor there. Um, problem with these is they do take up a, uh, APCR slot and not every map will allow you to take an APCR. Now there is an upside as well as a down to this. And that upside is you do unlock the, this APC before you unlock the Jeep. Um, let, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, as you can see, you unlock the cargo truck at chauffeur rank 2. You will always get chauffeur ranks quicker than you will driver ranks. Why? Because you don't get a vehicle to start off with. You get that tiny little truck or, or the pedal bike. Even if, a fr even if a friendly jumps on the pedal bike, it still counts towards your chauffeur ribbon and the pedal bike doesn't count towards your driver ribbon. And same with the truck. The truck does eventually count towards your driver's ribbon, but at a slower pace than your chauffeur. Now let me explain. You're driving the truck and a friend jumps in the cab and then a couple of guys jump in the back. For every sequential man that jumps in the back, that's a, a multiplier given to your chauffeur, not your driver. Your driver EXP only counts as if you move from one tick to another, i.e. one grid reference into another, that's driver EXP. The, the vehicle's moving, it is driver EXP. If there's people in the vehicle, that is chauffeur. You can't drive multiple vehicles at the same time, so your driver's EXP isn't going to climb anywhere near as fast as your chauffeur. Ta-da! Ta-freaking-da! It's that simple. It's simple mathematics and economics. I feel that the truck should be at least at the same rank unlock as the jeep now the jeep is unlocked at driver ribbon uh i want to say it unlocked at driver ribbon three and then of course the weasel is unlocked at uh where is the weasel unlocked er where's the weasel unlocked? anyway the weasel was unlocked later on on the driver ribbon so in theory you're always going to get the apc first before you wheel the jeep unless they bump the jeep down to drive a ribbon two it's that simple either they bump the, the drive the, the the jeep down or they bump the apc up and you're always going to get the apc before the jeep but the problem is the majority of maps that you play will not allow you to take an apc for example depot will allow you to take an apc but honestly why the load times to get from an APC, regardless of what version it is, the truck or, or the armored APC, is twice as long as it takes for you to respawn at the spawn. And the spawns on depot are so goddamn close, it's just not worth it. Okay, so don't bother with APCs on depot. Um, if the other changes is this UI, I absolutely fucking detest it. It literally looks like someone's drank a whole taken a, a green crayon and a gray crayon and a red crayon put them in a blender mixed it up with some drink and some epicac down the fucking thing and just vomited all over the fucking screen that's what it looks like it literally looks like someone has taken a a, a, a photoshop image and gone click click auto generate and that's what's created I hate this green fog shit in the background. I just, I absolutely fucking hate it. It looks horrible. It looks amateuristic at best. They've actually, in my opinion, gone back several steps just from this. I, I It's gotten to the point where I can't stare at this anymore. I wish we could mod the backsplash screen because if we could, I would probably mod it to an image that I can do. Or better yet, how about you, you do what other for uh, other sh uh, other uh, world war ii games are doing right now uh, uh, for example war thunder allows you to download your own garages world of tanks your own garages armored warfare is talking about adding that in as a feature in the next few updates 
But can we do that for heroes and generals? No. Can we roll back and use a previous uh, a previous uh, 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 um, depot, garage, whatever you want to call this? No. We are forced to use this ick pea green crap or this depressing grey or this I've had my first period, let me smear the blood all over the fucking screen red. Because that's basically what it fucking looks like, and it's absolutely fucking hideous. I, this is another reason why I don't play my Soviets, okay? The only Soviet player that I've played mostly lately has been my fighter pilot. And yes, it is called I Am The Flying Cobra. It is a homage to uh, I Am The Flying Cow. Because um, I think he's just an amazing f flyer within uh, HNG. And he's actually been giving me tips on how to fly. Uh, which I will be doing a video on that here soon. So you can either have pig, puke pea green. Depressive, I'm going to cut my wrists listening to emo music grey. Or I'm a 12 year old girl who's had her first period red. Because that's basically what this fucking looks like. And it's just depressing as fuck. It really is. So they've also decided to move everything around. They've still left the chat bubbles and shit in the lower corner, but they've moved your messages and your notifications to the top left corner. They've moved the store over, all your credits and stuff over, and now they've tried to combine everything. And will you please stop fucking around with the tutorial icon? Now it looks like a ghost that's literally flashing his genitalia at me and the mustache that's supposed to be on that drill sergeant's lip looks like pubic hair that's been curled up into an evil mustache. Literally. I'm surprised there's not a monocore on one of those testicles. It looks that fucking god-awful what the fuck. And what's even worse is you haven't even updated the tutorial to incorporate the new recoil mechanics. What's the fucking point then? If we're still playing a tutorial that's back from the alpha, that barely has any of the gun upgrades, the fact that people are now glitching the tutorial just for the lols, cotton, galaxy grits, among others, okay? It, it, it's pointless. It's absolutely pointless in having the tutorial. There's not even a flying tutorial in the game yet. Flying has always been a subpar mechanic in the game. Period. Same as tanking. There's not a tanking freaking tutorial that explains the armor penetration to ang angles, etc, etc. Th there's nothing that explains any of that. Okay? Nothing. It it's like the tutorial has become the red-headed stepchild of Ritu, and you are more than happy beating the fucking thing repeatedly until it just dies. Okay, just seriously. Anyway, back to the Evanhart bill. Um, the new reload mechanism has literally made a uh, 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 um, tight grip and quick point of defense mute. Your new recoil mechanics have literally made these two skills completely fucking mute. They just don't work, period. With the new recoil mechanics, these just do not work. The fact that I was playing on my German, Jan Schmidt. Where are you, Schmini? I was playing with Jan Schmidt with my MP40 hipfire build, which has not changed, period, since, for, for, since the beginning of this year, since the first A build, which is the uh, Falsch ammo and sights. That's it. That's all I use. Look at that grip. Look at that tightness. Look at that freaking tightness. And I'm thinking, great, with the new recoil mechanics, that'll be fine. No, I have literally watched shots, bullets, go outside of my fucking red dead coal. Literally, outside of where the fuck I'm aiming. It's like trying to aim a KV-2 and snapshotting a world of tanks. Good fucking luck, unless you sacrifice enough dissidents to Stalin for him to guide your shell at your enemy tank. Literally. Not even in the same fucking postcode as where the fuck I'm aiming. Because the new quote unquote recoil mechanics. All you've done is delete the fucking video recoil. That's it. Guys, in every first person shooter, there is two types of recoil. You've got video recoil where they're actually deciding to shake the fuck out of the camera like you're on the bridge of the Enterprise. Oh, we're being attacked by Klingons. And then the actual bullet mechanic recoil. Okay? All they've done 
is lower down the video recoil. Okay, they haven't done jack shit for the follow-up shot recoil, which is what we want them to do. Okay, previous build, I could simply two-shot that pat anyone with a semi-auto with a scout two barrel. Now it's taking six or seven shots because the next follow-up shots are not even in the same fucking postcode as to where the fuck I am aiming. And this fucking kill cam mechanic is just stupid. Oh, let me follow my, where my head is laying. Oh, I fell through the ground. Now you've basically made the freaking camouflage perk, and we all know what one that is. You've now made this camouflage perk mute because now everyone has it. GG. GG. So, all those people that have been struggling to get to the very last ribbon completely fucking done and actually have this fucking perk unlocked for their recon is now mute because of your new quote-unquote action kill cam. And don't even get me started on the fucking transfer camera. Literally, it looks like I'm, I'm trying to get off out the car with my eyes closed! Or I'm trying to go from the gunner's position to the driver's position in my tank WITH MY EYES CLOSED! Or better yet, how about the fact that motorbikes now just randomly explode when just grazing a fucking destructible fence? Not trying to go through it, just grazing- <laughs> My bike's dead. All 100 health. GONE! Cause some fucking moron forgot to move a decimal point! And the fact that you've now released four, fucking four, count them, four fucking hot fixes for the same fucking issue that's not fixed! What are you doing? Every fucking update, we go, yay, it's one step forward, a bajillion goose Nazi steps back! Seriously, how about you stop fucking with your core mechanics? and start fixing with the fucking things that are broken. Just a little hint for you. Seriously, I'm flying. I hit the shift key to look outside my plane. Why are my eyes closed? And how am I still seeing my plane? With my eyes closed? Do I have transparent eyelids? WHAT IS GOING ON?! We'll go with that. Transparent eyelid. Who the fuck actually tests this shit and realizes, Yeah, this is great! GG, let's release it! What's the worst that can happen? Your entire player base could get fucking explosive vomiting and diarrhea every time they try to go from the driver's position to the gunner's position in their fucking tanks. Or how about the fact that now it takes 20 fucking years, not 5 years, but 20 fucking years, to actually get out of your tank now. You've made it to the point where tankers might as well just stay in the fucking thing. They don't even need to get out and repair. They might as well just have several of their friends with wrenches that you have now, congratulations, removed down an, in an entire equipment slot, but still you haven't upped the fucking recon's equipment slot. So they're now stuck at seven points. Ooh, what can I take? A rifle at five points and a pistol at two. I'm still overloaded. This is where most people stay as an infantryman and have 10 slots and don't bother going recon because guess what? You still have not attached the camouflage perk to only being a recon thing. Oh no, 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 no. So even a fucking tanker can take the camouflage perk and still stay at your spawn and still use it and still blast HE endlessly into your main fucking cap on an assault map so you don't know where he is. Tankers don't know where he is, so he can sit there all fucking day farming kill after 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 kill. Destroying the fun factor of your game, especially for new and or returning players. Let's see, where's old Van Smithers? Oh, that's right, he quit playing your game, didn't he? After the debacle of what you did. 
Where's Yugen? Oh, that's right. He now plays freaking War Thunder. What, what about Bridger? Oh, War Thunder. Um, let's see. How about the fact that you've now released this so-called freaking content creators club on your forums and you haven't invited anyone apart from Cotton and Attaway? Am I not making content right now, Ritu? I didn't get an invite. Have I not damn near dedicated my entire Twitch channel to your game? Did I get an invite? No, I didn't even get an email. I found out about the Content Creators Club from one of my followers who emailed me and asked me, am I in the club? And I said, no, but he is, and he hasn't made a single fucking video. He gets an invite to your Content Creators Club, but not me. I'm good enough to get perks. I'm good enough to be given gold codes. I'm good enough to be given 30 days of free premium. Thank you, Splixen, for that, my friend. But I'm not good enough to be invited into your special little treehouse. To your special little club. Why? Why, why is that? Oh, you don't want to give a reason as to why you haven't invited me into your special little treehouse? Oh, that's fine. I guess Cotton and Attaway can have fun bouncing the same ideas off of each other while people like Cal, myself, and everyone else who's come up with not only solutions to your fucking problems, but ways of how to actually fix it in a very simplistic way get left out in the fucking cold. Also, you two can explain one of your patches. Yes, the patch note Better things. Than they even did. Which is what this video is, which is a patch note thing where I explain the builds. Yeah, this isn't content creation, is it? This isn't me creating your game, oh no, and showing you ha players what badges to stay away from seeing how your devs love to fuck them up worse than a white girl going to a black gangbang. Oh no, 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 no. No, I'm not allowed in your special little treehouse of horrors now, am I? But that's okay, don't worry about it. I'll create my own little treehouse of horrors. Where I'll invite all the content creators that have the viable fucking ideas. You see, this is one thing Ritu doesn't seem to understand is you're not the only fucking game in town. Anyway, back to the patch notes. So, congratulations on your quote unquote action cam that's destroyed the camouflage perk. Congratulations on your so called action cam that has broken the quick point of fire and the tight grip so that they don't actually fucking work anymore. So you might as well just take fast reload. That one seems to be work, but even though the animation is still glitched on the following weapons the M3 Grease Gun, the M2 Carbine, and the Stonegewehr. Don't believe me? Watch the replays. Watch my streams. You'll see my soldier, my German soldier, reach down for a magazine that he doesn't even have in his hand. And you'll see him take his hand to the gun. Take his hand away from the gun and the magazine's magically there. Literally teleporting magazines. Especially in my grease gun. You'll literally see the magazine literally hovering, floating like a magneto from the X-Men. It's somehow floating behind my hand. My hand reaches up to my grease gun and lo and behold, magically, the clip's in there. Why? Because the animation is not in animation tick to the skill. So either the perk's broken or the animation's broken. But either way, don't worry about it. Oh, and that's another thing. The new action cam that causes fully automatic guns to fire in semi-automatic mode for no apparent reason. I didn't press the, the, the one key to turn it from full auto to semi-auto. Yeah, I'll stand there and it'd go tap, 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 tap. I'm holding my mouse button down and the gun is going tap, tap. I don't know what my fire rate is. I don't know what my fire rate is. Oh wait, BRAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
shit their pants and their knickers at the fact that they just aim at an unarmored APC and get a 10 man kill. Oh, I was bottom of the leaderboard. Oh, look, there's an APC. Oh, shit, I just killed 10 people. Ta 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 ta! I'm now on top of my fucking scoreboard. You still have not denied the fact that the Soviet Empire, and I'm going to call them the Soviet Empire, that the Soviet Empire has won the World War now four times in a row. And they still get over 50% advantage on their tanks and their planes and their EXP and everything else. Why? Because according to you, the player base is all playing America and the Germans. Well, if that's the case, through sheer economics, something that Ritu doesn't seem to understand, wouldn't the Americans have more soldiers to throw into the fight and therefore be able to beat the Soviets? Wouldn't the Germans? Well, explain this then, Ritu. Why are the Soviets still winning? Oh, that's right, because they have a fucking PTRD that can kill 10 men in one fucking shot because you decided to give us all an unarmored fucking jeep instead of actually balancing the PTRD and removing certain fucking perks and skills that make the PTRD do over 1200 damage in a single fucking bullet so that they can not only one-shot APCs, jeeps, motorcycles and damn near even one-shot planes and paraplanes and light tanks no, 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 that's not giving all the fucking advantage to Uncle Stalin, now is it? How about you give some love to Uncle Hitler? How about you give some love to Uncle Patton, instead of all of the love to Uncle Ivan? How about you stop, just stop, and actually give the Americans their anti-tank rifles, and the Germans their anti-tank rifles, which, by the way, the Germans and the Americans and the British all all started fielding anti-tank rifles at the same time before the Soviets did in 1941. <gasps> oh shit, this person's done some research. It doesn't consist of Wicca fucking pedia. No, I know my shit. Shame your testers don't. This is why you won't do that challenge I issued to you. Ritu and their dev streams and their testers versus everyone who streams your game. Cotton, myself, Smithers, Cal, all of us on one so-called quote-unquote dream team versus your devs. And let's see who fucking wins. Let's see who knows the ins and outs of your own fucking game, shall we? Shall we? But you won't do that. You won't agree to it. The only response I got from Robotron was, wasn't your account banned, question mark? Yeah, one of my accounts was banned. But not the account I'm emailing you on, not the account I'm talking to you on the forums on. That account clearly hasn't been banned, has it? Because I'm talking to you on the forums. I'm still in the game making content. But no. Robotron's only answer was, that's a dumb idea. What? The fact that we would actually show you the complete and total inadequacies from your own development team? and how they don't understand their own fucking game. Yeah, we're showing the in in inadequacies, aren't we? And here's another little hint for you. How comes, and uh, food for thought here, guys. How comes there were actual scopes used in World War One for bolt actions, semi-autos, and even SMGs? You could actually get a scope for the MP-18, which was the first submachine gun used by the Germans in World War One. Yet you can't get a scope for the MP34. You can't get a scope for the MP40. You can't get a scope for the Thompson. You can't get a scope for the Grease Gun. And we already know where I stand on the Thompson versus Grease Gun bollocks. The Thompson was first fielded before the Grease Gun. Yet we get the Grease Gun first. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Because the Grease Gun was a vastly, vastly superior SMG to the Thompson. In every way. Look at the US Army Ordnance paperwork on it. It's right there. Just, you can find it online at your local library or just send in a request to the US Army Ordnance and the Department of Defense they'll gladly send you the documentation from the US Army Ordnance declaring the grease gun a vastly more superior gun than the Thompson but still nevertheless Evan Hartbuild what does Cobra think of it I give it mm, five <laughs> shit thumbs down out of five I think again 
that Ritu want us to play the game how they want us to play the game, not how we want to play the game. Remember, guys, think for yourself. It's not fucking illegal. Break the goddamn mold. Be yourselves. Be beautiful. And I'll see you all on the battlefield, you sexy bastards. So keep your shots flying. Keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander. We'll see you in the next video, my friends.